What's up, you guys? It's Zamora, and today I make a grand return by discussing one of my favorite topics, or one of those topics that just gets me gets me going and I'm really passionate about. And I want to start off by saying sorry for being away for quite some time. Some time, I think it's been how many days? Five days? Six days? Anyway, um, and what happens is a combination of you know I still have some challenges going on at home lack of organization with my time and at the same time just straight up laziness um, and laziness affects me in the sense of when I'm in the mood to record it's typically nighttime and that means that I would have to gather extra lights so that my video is a little less crappy than it typically is um, but anyways um, I really was going to do something last night but I was kind of tired and my exhaustion is really more mental than physical but at any rate um, also I have been sick dealing with seasonal allergies so you might see me wiping my face here and there and sniffing a lot I'm not on drugs I'm just fighting um, a little congestion that just comes and goes like if I'm at work nothing happens thank god and then when i get here i start sneezing like crazy and then as i'm on my way somewhere as i drive i can have episodes of sneezing but other times i'm cleared up and other times i'm so congested that i get dizzy and it's like i gotta take a break but anyway that's all on that note and let's get to business um today i want to discuss about things that people ought to know how to do and right now I want to focus on how to educate and I never wrote about this I never really meditated on this so I'm really just going to talk to you guys as I go along there's no script you know like usual and I really hope that I can put my thoughts together and this will also serve as practice for me to you know express myself on the go so first and foremost I really would like for people to not look at education as it's a business unfortunately in modern times that is the case um, you know unless you go to public schools from K through 12 your education really isn't free and at the same time, when you complete your 12th grade, you may go to a public institution for, you know, furthering your studies, but that doesn't mean that you're going to be free of debt. And that's really what's keeping a lot of people from school, myself included. And aside from that, educating in general, we as human beings can have our minds shaped. And that's what education is about. So now I'm trying to figure out why presently it seems so difficult to get this very basic thing done. And for me, I'll speak for myself and my experience growing up. My mother was a teacher. Well, she still is, but um, she was really on her career, like getting it started pretty much and during my upbringing I remember that she would at home give us like little drills like oh in case of a fire what would you do and in case you see your brother choking on his food <laughs> what do you do and same thing with my brother and if you guys were to see me I don't know unconscious or whatever reason how do you dial without actually dialing, you know, the emergency number and stuff like that. And she would also talk to us with lots of anticipation. Like her communication was great. Um, for instance, let's say you start the week on Monday. She's like, all right, focus on school. By the time Thursday comes about, she's talking about the weekend. Hey, um, the weekend's coming up and we have plans to go to your grandparents. So make sure that you have everything straight and everything together and your homework done so that we can go over there and have fun. So Friday would come about and that's when, you know, 
we would have everything straightened out, everything sorted, our backpacks and stuff ready. And then by Saturday morning, we were rolling. So, but she did that through constant communication, repetition and reinforcement. It's like, hey, what do you have left to do? Oh, your homework? Well, let's sit down and get it done together. What do you have missing from your backpack or your luggage? Oh, beach clothes? All right, let's look for that. You know, it's like we had her support. And that is a form of educating because you are there. You are following up on your kids. And at the same time, you're providing them with organization skills and with ways to stay on track. As a kid, I had way better organization and focus than I do right now as an adult. And probably the reason for that is that as an adult, there is some stuff that I just don't stress out over. And maybe I should, it would make me more productive, but I just don't find that useful for me anymore. You know, something that's not useful become, becomes pointless. So at any rate, and then another aspect of educating is you need to know how to express yourself and how to make your point across without being aggressive. Because when you become aggressive, that means you're deep down insecure and you're trying to intimidate your audience to have them scare off from asking you things or um, just questioning you and putting you in doubt and in question you know nobody likes to be questioned deeply like that you know because you get nervous so it's i remember my father used to have in his signature in his emails something that translated would read um the truth doesn't scream it convinces or the truth doesn't yell it convinces and I loved that a lot. I want to say upon reading that, it changed my perception a lot and the way I express myself. And I just felt better educated from that point on because I was saying, true, I may be passionate about something, but passion doesn't have to sound like you're agitated. Passion doesn't have to sound like you're attacking the other person and just belittling them and stuff like that. You know, you can have a massive effect on someone and you can be as chill and calm as sweet as they come so you know i always it's been tricky it's been a tricky path but it's possible and another thing about ways people ought to know how to educate is learn to have patience with people understand that everybody's rate of learning differs for instance you can tell me something once and I'll retain it for a very long time. It can be a sequence of numbers. It can be a sequence of pictures, events. You know, I can retain that. Um, I cannot explain how or why. I just do. Now, just because someone else does not excel at it the way I do doesn't mean that it's okay to treat them like crap. And expect for them to become better themselves when they don't have any positive reinforcement you know um, really education it's a psychological game life is a psychological game and you just have to know how to just convince people and make them better and for that you just need to know how to express yourself if you're well educated yourself well educated in the sense that you have values and you pass them on and you act with values at all times not whenever you're in a controlled setting may it be your job may it be in the presence of specific people you know consistency an educated person would be consistent and also when it comes to education I truly believe something that would work is if you let people pursue what they so desire. Like for me, I would have loved to be, to be able to focus on the sciences, 
just the sciences. And I would have been immensely happy. And then at some point, I would feel overwhelmed from it. And I would have probably taken up another, another interest, like music. And that's fine. You know, give people the freedom to have their focus and spend on it as much as they would like. Um, because nowadays, in modern times, I feel like the education system is so flawed because we do not have that freedom anymore. Everything is being decided for us. Like, oh, you have to study and major on this because this is what's going to land you a good job. And I'm like, why can it not be you study whatever you want to create your own thing, your own company, your own fate, as opposed to having to work for someone else? And that point I learned from someone who's really close to me. And ever since um, I heard it in that way, it changed my perspective a lot. And I feel privileged in a lot of ways that although I cannot continue a higher education, um, I don't feel like I am less of a person compared to everyone else who gets to study whatever it is that they want. And for me, it's like I take my own education into my own hands. And all I have to say is there are some people who are also like very educated right they completed their college and whatever but they're the very people who still cannot say you're welcome when you say thank you and they cannot even greet you with good morning and say thanks for just you know regularly saying thanks and you know they're the very people who just don't have manners and seem to have sold their soul so I'm not saying that they became that way because they got an education. Don't get me wrong. It's just that some people just, their pride gets in the way. It's like the fumes get to their brain and they just forget um, to remain humble. They forget their origins. And even if you have a an origin where you you were set in life, let's say financially, I mean, you still needed to be fed when you were growing up. You still needed to have your diapers changed for you, you know? So it's like, why are you acting like we are all your carpet that you can just stomp on, you know? And I know I veered off course there, but I'm just saying, people ought to know how to educate because how can you expect for let's say the young kids growing up right now to be great citizens in the future if we are not working on them and if we are not dealing with this in the appropriate way that you know fulfills the goal which is raising good members of society you know we need to go back to basics somehow that got lost and yeah you guys um that's really all that i have to say at the moment i feel like i did not really provide enough examples of how to educate someone but honestly i think it just varies from person to person because for instance kids who have special needs you cannot put them on courses at the same rate as a average kid you know they need special attention and at the same time the kids who are very sharp minded super intelligent we need to find ways to keep them engaged and motivated given their talent so you know i think the best way to educate someone is by getting to know them and provide the adjustments that they need and let them manifest all right, you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope to be back with videos steadily because, yeah, I love to do this and I really want to keep it up. I'll see you soon.